Melrose Place star Brad Johnson has died at the age of 62. The actor, who is also known for his work on the big screen including with legendary director Steven Spielberg, died of COVID complications. Brad's rep, Linda McAllister confirmed to The Hollywood Reporter that the star passed away in Fort Worth, Texas. He was a true renaissance man. He was not only interested in all life had to offer, but was gifted in it as well, an obituary penned by his family reads. Although he was taken too early, he lived life to the fullest. It concluded, Dottie was larger than life. Brad was loved by many and loved people back, a genuine friend, trusted colleague, and a dedicated husband and father, he will never be forgotten, and his legacy will go on. He had an impressive resume that saw him star alongside famous faces most notably with Holly Hunter and Richard Dreyfuss in the 1989 fantasy drama always directed by the mind behind classics like Jaws and E.T. The Extraterrestrial. The film is a remake of 1943's A Guy Named Joe. However, Brad was a part of many other roles, as in 1991 he was in Flight of the Intruder for director John Milius. Two years later, he found himself portraying the title character in the 1993 miniseries Ned Blessing, The Story of My Life and Times, and in 1995 he reprised the role in Lone Justice 2 and then Lone Justice Showdown at Plum Creek in 1996. Before making his mark on TV and in film, Brad joined a professional rodeo circuit in 1984, where he was noticed by a casting director who was on the hunt for cowboys for a beer commercial. This led to Brad's work as the Marlboro Man for the cigarette brand in various commercials and ads. He also appeared in numerous Calvin Klein ads. The star is survived by his wife of 35 years, Lori, as well their kids, Shane, Bellamy, Rachel, Eliana, Eden, Rebecca, Annabeth, and William. Friends, thank you for watching. If you liked the video please rate it.